Hello, boys and girls. This is your Peter Pan storyteller. When you hear this signal, turn the page. All right, here we go. G.I. Joe, the rescue from Adventure Team Headquarters, a Peter Pan book and record. The time, 1800 hours. The place, Adventure Team Headquarters, where G.I. Joe and his buddy Mike are awaiting the arrival of a very important visitor. When is the Prime Minister due to arrive, Joe? Later tonight, Mike. That is, if nothing goes wrong. There have been a lot of rumors about his enemies at home starting something. Have we got the Prime Minister's plane on radar? Yes. And radio contact also every 15 minutes. Oh, as a matter of fact, we ought to contact them about now. This is G.I. Joe. Come in, 311. Come in, 311. This is G.I. Joe calling 311. Do you read me? Do you read me? Is everything okay? Roger, Joe. Everything's okay. Prime Minister's taking a nap. I wouldn't mind taking one myself the way I feel. Yeah, that... What was that? Something's exploded, Joe. The controls, they're dead. Joe, we've been sabotaged. Oh, boy. Uh, Oh, look. Put her on remote control. We'll try to fire from here. It's no use, Joe. One engine's out completely. The other's half power. Only one chance, Joe. We've got to crash land. Well, are there any open spaces? No, I can't. It's all swamp and jungle, Joe. Wait, wait. wait. Joe's about ten miles ahead. I've got it on the video scope, Joe. It might just be big enough. Okay. Uh, uh, pilot, now listen. Tell me everything you see as we go. Now, I'm going to try and land you on remote. Roger, Joe. Okay, 2,000 feet. Lower the nose. Lower the nose. Bring her down. We're under 1,000 now. Too deep. Too deep. Level off. Level off, Joe. Okay, we're skimming the treetops. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, boy. Uh, we're just over, Joe. Now, take her down. Take her down now. <laughs> Come in, 311. Hey, Joe, we made it. Nice going, Joe. You saved us. Well, stop thanking me and get out of that plane before the darn thing explodes. Roger, Joe. (laughs) Have you got the landing spot pinpointed, Mike? Yes, Joe, but... There's some bad news. What's that? It's in headhunter country. Oh, no. If the natives get to them first, there'll be a new prime minister. Well, and there's only one thing to do. I've got to make sure they don't. I'm going, my buddy. Keep me zeroed in. Less than three hours later, a giant cargo jet pulls to a halt at a secret airfield at the edge of the jungle. The belly opens, and the roar of the adventure team vehicle is heard as it rolls out onto the runway. Joe to headquarters. Joe to headquarters. You read me. Come in. Come in, Mike. Headquarters here. Okay. I'm ready to move. Gotcha. Loud and clear. Don't go shaking hands with any crocodiles now, Joe. Hours later, deep in the jungle swampland. <laughs> Come in, Joe. Joe. Come in. Come in. Joe. Picked up indications of something else heading toward the plane, Joe. It's probably a group of headhunters. Oh, boy, I was afraid of that, Mike. Look, is there any place I can cut across the river here? No. It's too dangerous for you. If you get stuck, the crocodiles will probably finish you in no time. Well, I'll just have to take that chance, buddy. Later, the vehicle reaches the banks of a large, treacherous river. Well, here goes nothing. Uh Uh-oh. Quicksand! And here come the crocs! Well, 
that'll hold him for a while. Now if I can get the winch cable around that tree. <laughs> Too short. Come on, baby, catch hold. <clears throat> Got it. Now if that tree doesn't split. <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> Boy, that was too close. Exhausted from his battle to free himself from the deadly quicksand, G.I. Joe lay down for some much-needed rest. Awaking refreshed, he starts out again on his mission. Well, the plane should be just beyond that hill. Drums. I'd better check this out on foot. Prime Minister and the rest of them. Oh boy, and that dance doesn't look like a school prom either. I've got to think of something but fast. I've got to contact Mike. Come in, headquarters. Come in, headquarters. Do you read me? Come in, headquarters. Come in, come in, Mike. Do you read me? Headquarters here. Headquarters. Headquarters, gotcha. Gotcha, Joe. We're listening. Okay. There's too many for me to handle alone. So I'm going to try something. Now, now, pay attention, Mike. I'm going to send the adventure vehicle into the clearing under auto drive. Now, you'll have to control it from headquarters, understand? When I give you the signal, start broadcasting something loud. The loudest thing you have over the loudspeaker. Maybe we can scare them off. Right, Joe. Gotcha. Okay. Here comes some dangerous driving without a driver. He just whispered his thanks to all of us. And naturally, the adventure team equipment. Good old buddy. But you forgot to thank me for something, Joe. What's that? My record collection. <laughs> 